Hi everyone, it's Ingrid from IngridCreates.com. Uh, this is a really quick video of the inside of my studio, which I thought would be easier to make and this way I can just talk you through um, the different areas that I set up as I explained in the blog post. Um, so this is where I've got my canvas um, set up and there's a drop sheet that's placed uh, behind it. I've got a painting trolley um, that actually has a drawer in it. I got that from Ikea as well. All of my canvases are stored just in that gap and the, you can see the uh, camera lights that I've got. I just find them easier to get direct light when um, there's not enough sunlight coming through my larger window. I'll open up the cupboard doors in a minute. There's that ironing board that I was talking about. It's just a small portable one that sits on my porcelain painting desk. This is uh, my sewing area, which you can see that I've been doing some bits and pieces. All the drawers have just got uh, most of my, the sewing stuff that I need on hand. Some very interesting stuff, and this is um, my porcelain painting area. And everything is forming that triangle. Um, I think they use it in kitchens um, where you've got that triangle workspace so that you can actually have less movement but it's maximized. So I've sort of kept that same principle in my uh, painting area as well. So into the cupboards, I love my cupboards I have to say. So there's some of the porcelain up the top there and that's all stacked up. There's porcelain in the other one. Um, I try and keep stuff as up high as possible and I've got all my spare stuff. Um, I try and buy most of my supplies um, through a wholesaler or at bulk studio rates rather than going to a retailer. And I suppose it's just because I always had a shop so I got used to um, Buying in that quantity, the brushes don't go off, so this is just where I keep all the um, sewing or ribbon embroidery stuff. I keep the glues in here so that children can't get anything. Mind you, if you remember in the last blog post, I'm going to try and not run too far away too quickly. Um, I've got those little door locks and they are wonderful for keeping the kids in and out. But um, sometimes I forget to lock it. So it's just safety, extra safety precautions. Um, everything, I like to have everything organized and um, kept in containers. And that's basically so that, you know, when I finished working with the acrylic tub, it goes straight back in the drawer and I don't have to pack and unpack things all the time. And I can clearly see um, all the stuff that I need. I'm waiting for new oil paints to come. That's just my watercolour, laminated watercolour board. And I've got these large cardboard boxes that sort of store, I don't know whether you can see what's in there, but um, they store other things that I'm waiting to be framed. Oh, and there's just other bits and pieces of stuff down there. But I like to have the cupboard doors closed. It just makes everything a lot neater and I don't get distracted and it keeps everything as dust free as possible and um, oh, essentially I'm a bit of a neat freak so I like to keep everything tidy. This way I'm not losing things either. No, oh, there's more porcelain up the top in those and these drawers are all set up for um, different stages of painting. And I've got the cardboard boxes. I've just got to get some pizza boxes um, to store wet paints and there's all my books and things. I've also got another set of drawers in the corridor, um, which I'll take a photo of. But that's also to store all the rest of my um, fabrics and things where I can't fit them in everywhere. So that's basically it.